All right, welcome. This is my block, Jags. I am Danelle Scurry. And this is a video series of me just giving my opinion, um, my thoughts on the things that Jaguars are going through and the things the team is doing. Um, everywhere you go in the city, every block you go, you see people with Jaguar flags, Jaguar hats. So it's just my opinion on my block of what I feel like the Jaguars are doing. Um, I like to start off with the season, last season, 2019 season. Um, I felt like the Jaguars underperformed for what we had. Um, as far as Nick Foles, he was a big part of the offseason. Everyone in the city was looking forward to him. He didn't do too. He didn't do too well. Um, he got hurt first uh, first game of the season. I think eleven plays in, got hurt, broke his collarbone on a nice pass to DJ Chark. But after that, we had Minshew Mania, and Nick Foles was kind of an afterthought. Came in, I think, started two games, and after that, he got pulled for Minshew. So, at the same time, he wasn't a free agent that we wanted, but he was a big free agent that came in. Um, you had Minshew, who was a six-round draft pick, came through, six, uh, won six games. Foles won his none. Minshew came, won six games. Uh, in my opinion, was the rookie of the year. If you would have added up all the rookies and their stats, Minshew had better stats than all of them. As far as Kyler Murray, Kyler Murray was more popular. Kyler Murray was the first pick. Kyler Murray was a Heisman Trophy winner. Kyler Murray was a first-round draft pick in the MLB and in uh, the NFL. So he had the popularity on him. But Minshew had more wins. Minshew had more passing yards. Minshew had less interceptions. Minshew had less, uh, I want to say, turnovers as well. Only thing Kyler Murray had was more rushing yards. So the popularity, he won the rookie of the year. Um, but we had Minshew, Minshew won six games, and that was the bright side of our offense last year. Um, he threw for over 3,000 yards. We had DJ Chark, who had over 1,000 yards. We had Leonard Fournette, who had over 1,000 yards. So our offense looked a lot better when it came when it was under Minshew, when Minshew was under center. Um, now, since we're in the offseason, they made the plans to trade uh, Nick Foles recently. So now Nick Foles got traded to the Bears for a fourth round pick, which I'm shocked that the Bears took. But how his contract looked and their needs on their team, they thought that Nick Foles would come in and do good for them outside of Mr. Trubisky. So boom, we got that up off of him. Um, we also had a couple other trades. We traded um, um, Calais Campbell, excuse me. We traded Calais Campbell we got a fifth round pick for him from Baltimore. Now, what's crazy about that is I really believe Calais was going to be a um, a roster sacrifice. I believe we was going to cut him. They were trying to figure out how they were going to pay him. I think he was due fifteen million. Didn't see Jacksonville paying that. So, um, and we already went to him last year asking to restructure his deal. So, older guys trying to cash out before his um, for his NFL career is over with. And I don't think they came to him. I'm not sure. But um, he was due $15 million. I just didn't see Jacksonville paying that with the kind of cap hell that we were in. So that trade made uh, a lot of sense for us to make. Um, we benefited from it. We got a fifth-round pick off of it. Um, if we didn't make the trade, we was just going to cut them anyway. So I feel like it was a good trade. Um, we also traded um, A.J. Boye. Now, it's crazy about A.J. Boye. He was part of the 2017 team when we went to the AFC Championship. And he was balling with Ramsey on the number one. Every time Ramsey was on the number one, Ramsey shut his down. AJ Boye came through and he showed up. But ever since we traded Ramsey in the season, AJ had to guard the number one. AJ kind of was lost out there. Didn't match up well with the number ones on other teams the way we needed him to match up. So he got a little exposed. And um, with his big contract, he was a big free agent signing a few years back. So with his contract, they were looking at to try to trade or release him to get some of that, um, to get up under the cap. So trading him to, who do we trade him to? Who do we trade Boye to? Boye got traded. I can't remember who Boye got traded to. But anyway, we ended up trading him. You ended up getting a fourth round pick for him. So that was a um, good trade. We got another fourth round pick. So we have multiple picks. And I want to say the first four or five rounds, the first five rounds, we have multiple picks, two first, like three, 
three seconds and like three thirds and like a couple fourths and a couple fifths. We have a lot. We have 12 picks all together. So we have a lot of picks. We have a lot of holes that we can try to fill with these picks. Um, we still have Yannick. We have Yannick on the team, Yannick Ngakwe. Before this season, he said, uh, before the last season, he said he wanted to get a new deal. They didn't work out a deal. Um, it was rumored that they offered him 19 and a half uh, per year for three years, um, and he turned it down. But it's crazy. They never mentioned the guarantee. But So by you not mentioning the guarantee dollar, we don't know exactly what it was. We don't know what he didn't like about the deal. Only thing we know is 19 and a half or $19 million was offered to him and he turned it down. So with that, um, him and his agent decide not to take the deal. He played through the season. Um, he looked all right. Uh, our rookie, Josh Allen, had more sacks than him um, and played less snaps than him. So that didn't help his case. But now we're in the offseason. He tweeted that he doesn't want to be in Jackson. He doesn't want to play for the Jaguars no more. The, the team knows that he wants um, he wants to be out of Jacksonville. Fine, um, that's his that's his right. He don't want to pay for us. That's him. That's what he feels is best for him. Uh, we franchise tag him. I'm not a fan of franchise tags, but at the same time, in this in certain cases, I understand them. But um, he got franchise tag. Now Jacksonville is um, now we're trying to shop him out to trade him. So we have a couple. We it's a few teams that's hollering at us about them. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a first round pick. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be. Hopefully it'll be a first round pick. I know they're asking for a first round pick. Hopefully it's a first and like a third or something. Give us more picks so that we can fill the holes because we have so many holes on the team from um, interior lineman to Ed. we're losing the edge rusher by trading him. Um, outside linebacker. We need another cornerback. We need a safety. We need a left tackle. We need another guard. We need another receiver. We need a tight end. We need a, a change of pace running back. And we're probably going to need another quarterback just to be another backup behind Minshew. So so we have so many holes on the team um, to where I feel like um, if we trade them, we could just get good draft picks for them. And I'm saying it'd be something that we can use later on in the future. That way we can build a team. Um, so hopefully before the draft, maybe the day of the draft, I hope not, but hopefully before the draft, we uh, we trade them. And uh, we can get some picks off of them. Um, as, far as, um, as far as that goes, I don't know if management is going to make the right decision when it comes to drafting with these picks. I mean, we trade all these picks with the Boye trade, the Calais trade, the... Um, if we trade Yannick, um, all these trades and all these picks that we're getting, all the, even the Foles trade, um, I don't know if we have the right management in place to make those smart moves to where we can draft good, talented guys that can come in and plug and play. That's, that's literally how we're looking at We're looking at plug and play guys. And I don't know if we can, we have the right people in the front office to make those decisions and make those right picks to where we can draft, plug, and play good, talented players. Um, we know we can. We know they can draft players. Not all of them are talented. Not all of them. A lot of them still aren't on the team from the last. Um, well, I'm lying. The last two, uh, two or three years, most of them are on the team. But we had a bad streak of only dra of not keeping players past um, after their first contract when it comes to drafts. For the longest, we didn't. None of the players when their first contract was up, they were already on to another team, or we traded them, or whatever it is. So, hopefully, we can. Um, hopefully, we can actually draft good talent that can stay here and that wants to be here and that can win us games. Um, that's the biggest thing that I think. For, I feel like Jacksonville should be doing. Um, we got the draft coming up within soon. Uh, within soon, we got the draft coming up soon. So, hopefully. You know what I'm saying? We get more and more feed of how the Jackson, how the Jaguars are going to go. with the. We got the ninth pick in the first round and the 20th pick in the first round. So we might be able to, um, as the draft gets closer and closer, find out where we're going with those picks. Um, my personal opinion, I feel like we should go after Simmons, the outside linebacker, slash safety, slash whatever, all the positions he plays for Clemson. If he's there at nine, I think we should go after him or the cornerback from Ohio State. 
either or. If any one of those, or if either one of those guys are there at nine, I feel like Jacksonville should go after them. No questions asked. These are guys that are that uh, showed up and played, played all over the field, did exactly what they were supposed to do in college. Feel like the talent, well, they can come in in Jacksonville and instantly make a difference on our team, um, especially on defense where we have the most holes at. Um, and then after that, after that, I think it's just. You plug. I mean, it's kind of hard to say where you want to go. I know I was tweeting this earlier that after the ninth pick, I'm kind of lost on what direction we should go in, um, as far as trying to answer all our all our needs. But I do feel like after that ninth pick, we just have to and we have to hit on every single one of those picks because we have so many needs that we have to fill. And um, a lot of these needs are plug and play needs to where when soon soon as they get here. And as soon as um, OTAs and everything starts training camp, they're looking at them to be on the field, being productive and playing. So um, we have to be smart with these picks. We have to be strategic with these picks and when we pick them, when we pick these players, where we pick these players, and how they fit within jail with the team. Um, so hopefully all that happens. Um, in the future, I'm probably going to make a little bit more videos, more and more videos. They're probably going to be – uh, a little bit longer than this, shorter than this. I don't know. It all depends on what's on my mind and uh, what I feel like talking about or what news is popping up. Um, it's the first episode. We're stuck in quarantine time, so we might as well use uh, use the time wisely and do something that we always wanted to do. So um, you can hit me up on Twitter at that boy scurry um, and just give me your feedback and just tell me what you think. Tell me um, tell me what you like and tell me um, give me your opinion on on the things that I've said. Um, but until next time, yo.